Thank you, Hannah. Okay, we are going to uh, meditate from the Bible. Uh, last month, uh, I hope you all remember, uh, the Lord gave us the word from the life of Joshua. Then I told you last month uh, that we are going to continue that message uh, this month also. Uh, we, we started that uh, that sermon last month from Deuteronomy chapter 31 uh, verse 7 Deuteronomy uh, 31 chapter uh, chapter 31 Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 7 Then Moses called Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel be strong and of good courage for you must go with this people to the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them and you shall call you shall cause them to inherit it amen uh, moses called joshua and said to him in the sight of all israel uh, moses told them you need to go before this people and you need to uh, help the people to inherit the promised land the Lord has chosen Joshua as a inheritor. Amen. Uh, I want to give some recap from the last month message. Okay, then I shared about the life of Joshua. Jo God has chosen him to inherit the promised land. Not only in inherit himself for himself, but for other people also. He has to help others he has to lead other people into the promised land to inherit whatever God has promised them. So God, the Joshua become an inheritor. But before the Lord chosen, or before Joshua became an inheritor, God has prepared him the several ways. God has chosen him first. So I told uh, last month that God has chosen us also as an inheritor. God has a plan in our life. God, God wants us to inherit all the promises which he has given in our life. When we inherit some promises in our life or when we inherit the promised land, it will be a blessing to us and also many other people, not only for us, but the purpose is to bless many other people. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why God has chosen him as an inheritor. But God has prepared him several ways. Then I told him, uh, I told last month, uh, uh, Joshua was a man who, who did not depart from the tabernacle. We read it from uh, Exodus uh, 33 verse 7. Uh, Bible talks about what is tabernacle? Tabernacle is a place where God can meet his people or his people can meet God. Amen. Moses, uh, Moses uh, used to go to the tabernacle. When other people are watching from the distance, Moses used to go inside the tabernacle. Whenever Moses gets into the tabernacle, immediately the pillar of cloud will cover the tabernacle. And also Bible says, Joshua become a helper to Moses. All, one place Bible says he was a servant to Moses. So whenever Moses entered into the tabernacle, Joshua also used to go with Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. So Joshua was trained by Moses before he inherited the promised land. God used Moses to train Joshua. Amen. The first greatest training or best training which Joshua got through Moses, it was being in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to be saturated in the presence of God. The presence of God is a place where we can get the best training to inherit the promised land. Amen. Hallelujah. His presence will help us to inherit 
promises. His presence will help us to get into the promised land. His presence will help us to initiate next step or move on to the next step. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, then I, I shared about what all the things he learned through Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Bible says one time uh, Joshua misunderstood uh, about what really is going on. When, when, when Moses and Joshua came down from the mountain, uh, they heard a big noise. Uh, then Joshua thought maybe it's a, it's a battle. Or uh, then uh, Moses explained what's really going on. Uh, Moses told Joshua, it's not a war, it's not a cry of war, uh, but people are, people spoil themselves. So most, uh, Joshua learned many things through Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. When God prepares us to inherit something, sometimes we will, we will make mistakes. But the Lord will teach us what is really going on. Joshua learned all these things. Hallelujah. Amen. And also Joshua was keep on watching how Moses handling every situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, then I told you, uh, Joshua was obeying to Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. He was standing with Moses. He was obeying to Moses. Whatever Moses asked him to do, he did. Amen. And also Bible says, um, he, he stood with uh, Moses. And also he, he was taking firm stand for God. Hallelujah. Amen. I told whenever God wants us to be a inheritor, He will put us under some leadership. Amen. He wants to train our hands. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to train our hands through some people, through some situation. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be trained by God. For that, God can use anyone. Sometimes God can use Moses. Sometimes God can use some situation. Hallelujah. Bible says uh, in Psalm 18, the Lord trained the hands of David for the battle, for the war. Amen. David was trained by different scenarios. Amen. God sent the lion to train his hands. God sent Goliath, the giant Goliath, to train his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Many ways God can train us. Hallelujah. But we need to have a, the heart of learning. Hallelujah. Without his purpose, nothing will happen in my life because he has chosen me. That's why he put me through this path of training. Amen. The path of training, it's not easy. Hallelujah. Path of learning, it's not easy. It's difficult. Sometimes we like something, but the, the Moses, like the leader or the the Lord will ask us to do something else. Amen. I told, I think I remember last month I shared um, when they had a first uh, battle, Moses and Ur and Aaron, they went to the top of the mountain. But Moses asked Joshua to go to the battlefield. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Joshua used to be with Moses all the time. But this time, Moses is asking Joshua, to go to the battlefield. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, there are two other people going along with Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. But Bible says, Joshua just obeyed to the voice of the Lord. Amen. After that, uh, that victory uh, in that battle, Bible says, the Lord asked Moses to read all the things to Joshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God already planned. Joshua has to do many more battles after he entered into the promised land. Amen. Hallelujah. Always God will do something in our life to prepare us for the things which is waiting for us. Hallelujah. God knows after five years what you will be. How you will be. For that time 
God will prepare you today. Maybe, maybe you do not understand what's going on in my life. Why God is putting me through this path? Why things are happening like this? Amen. But I, I believe that always God will prepare us for something greater. It's waiting for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He will never, never, never do mistakes in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Now, today I'm going to continue that message. Uh, how the Lord will prepare us and what the Lord will expect us during the time of inheritance. I told you, before we inherit, God will do something. Then during the time of inheritance, God will do something. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to tell you a few more things. What the Lord will do before we inherit. Amen. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 14. Verse 14. Then the Lord said to Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses. Behold. Behold. The days approach when you must die. Mm. Call Joshua mm. and present yourselves in the tabernacle of meeting mm. that I may inaugurate him. Mm. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the Amen. tabernacle of meeting. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. The Lord told Moses, you are going to die. So I need to ordain Joshua. Amen. But from where God wants to inaugurate this new path from the presence of God again. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You will call Joshua and present yourselves in the tabernacle of meeting that I may inaugurate him. Hallelujah. Amen. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of meeting. Hallelujah. Presence of God is the best place to start any new thing. Amen. Before we get into anything, amen, we need to start from the presence of God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, indirectly God is telling Joshua, you need to keep me always at the first. You need to give me the priority. You need to give priority to my presence. Hallelujah. We can read one more verse 23. Hmm. Then he inaugurated Joshua, the son of Nun, hmm. and said, Be strong and of good courage, for you shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving the purpose again to Joshua. Joshua, this is the purpose about your life. This is the purpose in your life. You shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with you. Amen. Deuteronomy 34, 9. 34, 9. Hmm. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, was hmm. full of the spirit of wisdom, hmm. for Moses had laid his hands on him, so the children of Israel heeded him, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. See uh, how God prepares Joshua for the great work of the Lord. Amen. Bible says he was filled. Joshua, the son of Nun, was full, full of the spirit of yes. wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. For Moses laid his hands on him. So the children of Israel heeded him. And did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Bible says the hand of the Lord, uh, sorry, hand of Moses was laid upon him. Immediately he was filled with the full of the spirit of wisdom. Amen. And then Bible says, so the children of Israel hated him. Hallelujah. The reason the children of people, children of Israel, listened to Joshua they were able to see the wisdom of God upon his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the wisdom of God to inherit the promises of God. From where it will come? It will come from God. Hallelujah. Moses was just a tool. Amen. God used the hands of Moses to fill him with the spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord will fill us 
in the spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. We, uh, we can read the verse, uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. Amen. After, uh, after Moses laid his hand upon Joshua, then Moses' life was over. Moses died. Now, after Moses' death, this is the time to inherit. I mean, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. Hmm. No, man shall, be able to no stand. man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Amen. Because now Joshua was, Joshua was standing at the front line. Joshua came to the front line. Amen. So far, Moses was at the front line. Joshua was under the shadow of Moses. But now Joshua has to stand at the first and do all the things. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord was encouraging him as I was with Moses. So I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Amen. The great assurance God gave to Joshua. Hallelujah. I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. That means Joshua you are not going to stand alone in the front line. I will be with you. As I was what? I, as I was with Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. So when Moses was standing at the front line, Moses was not alone. The Lord was with Moses all the time. Maybe sometime Joshua was able to see only Moses. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe Joshua cannot see the Presence of, cannot see God who was with Moses. That's why God wants to say, hey, I was with Moses all the time. So I will be with you like that. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Amen. When God calls you, when God asks you to do something, he will be with you. Amen. Without God, we cannot do anything. That's why in John chapter 15, Apart from me, you cannot, you can do nothing. Jesus told the disciples, without me, you cannot do anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, verse 7 and 8. Hmm. The Lord gave him the assurance, I will be with you. Then Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Only be strong. Only be strong. And very courageous. Hmm. And very courageous. That you may observe to do according to all the law hmm. which Moses, my servant, commanded you. you amen. There was an instruction also. God gave an encouragement. And also the Lord gave an instruction to uh, Joshua. Joshua. Amen. You need to observe. All the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left. That you may prosper wherever you go. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lord gave him the encouragement that I will be with you. And also the Lord gave him some instruction. You need to stick on to the law. Amen. What is the law for us today? The word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. The written word of God, it's a guidelines for us. Hallelujah. We should not turn from it to the right hand or to the left. That will be a great blessing to inherit our promises. Amen. Hallelujah. But every time we need to check what the word of God says. Hallelujah. We, we have Bible says, do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left hand. Hallelujah. In uh, Isaiah, Bible says, your ears will hear. This is the way. Walk in it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Whenever, whenever our focus is turning from God's word, then immediately our ears will hear. This is the way. Walk in it. Hallelujah. That is the uh, that that will prosper our ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever we go, we will prosper. Doesn't matter what kind of place. Amen. When we stick on to the word of God, it will make us prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible talks about many people. Uh, Joseph, he was in the land of Egypt, but he ran away from the sin because he decided, how can I commit the sin against God and uh, Potiphar? Amen. Then 
his life was aligned with God's word. That's why he ran away. That's, that was the key for the prosperity of Joseph. Hallelujah. That's why God said, you need to stick on to my word. You do not, do not turn from it to the right or to the left. Hallelujah. Amen. So now the Joshua, uh, Joshua was in action to enter into the promised land. Amen. Joshua chapter 1 verse 11. This is the time uh, during the time of inheritance. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 verse 11. Pass through the camp and command the people mm. saying prepare provisions for yourselves mm. for within three days mm. you will cross over this Jordan to go into possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Amen. I told you before the inner, before inheritance, God prepared Joshua in several days. Now, during the time of inheritance also, God is preparing him. God is asking him, prepare provisions for yourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. For within three days, you will cross over this Jordan. Hallelujah. Amen. God has appointed a time to cross the first hindrance of Jordan. Hallelujah. For that, God asked him, prepare something. Here, God asked him to prepare provisions for himself and all the people. Hallelujah. God gave him some time to prepare. Hallelujah. I believe that all this time, what we are going now, it's also time of preparation. Hallelujah. Bible says, the last days, all these things will happen. This is all just a beginning. Amen. But we need to, we should understand why God is allowing all these things. God wants to convey a message to us. You need to prepare yourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, we, we are preparing ourselves in a different ways, right? Hallelujah. But God is asking us to prepare for his glorious kingdom. Amen. Very soon he is going to come. Hallelujah. These are the last day signs. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The uh, Bible says people will be in fear. It's happening now. Hallelujah. We all in fear and panic and also we, we also do not know uh, what will happen next. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But we need to prepare. We need to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Not only to overcome this present crisis, but we need to prepare ourselves to meet our king. Meet, meet our king of kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says, prepare to meet your Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's nothing wrong to prepare all the provisions for this time of crisis. Amen. But we need to check. Am I really spiritually prepared? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If the Lord comes tonight, Hallelujah, am I prepared? Hallelujah. Here, God gave, uh, at least for Joshua, the Lord gave some timeline. Within three days, he will cross. Hallelujah. Amen. But in our case, we do not know when he will come. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we do not know the exact time, whether it's a three days or 30 days or three years or we do not know. That means we need to be prepared all the time. Hallelujah. Be prepared all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, the uh, when we hear about the military people, the, the people, those are in the army, they need to be prepared all the time. They used to tell them Anytime the call will come. When the call comes, you need to go immediately. No, no, no more delay. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the same way, the Lord is expecting us to be prepared. Hallelujah. We need to be prepared. Hallelujah. Amen. So the inheritors, the chosen people, needs to be prepared all the time. Hallelujah. That is the purpose of God in our life. Hallelujah. Joshua, you need to prepare. Hallelujah. This is the time to be prepared. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, man, we, we cannot postpone anymore. Hallelujah. We cannot say, maybe, we cannot say, oh, maybe after two years, maybe next year I can do something. No, this is the time. This is the time of salvation. Hallelujah. We need to, we need to understand what type of, what kind of time we, we live in. Hallelujah. Bible says, redeem your times. Hallelujah. The Lord gave him three days time to prepare himself and the, prepare the people. Hallelujah. Bible says we can read the verse, uh, maybe we can read the verse again. Mm. Pass tell, through the camp mm. and command the people saying, prepare. Provisions. Tell the people, you need to go and tell the people, prepare yourself. Provisions mm. for yourselves mm. for within three days, mm. you will cross over this Jordan mm. to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Amen. Yeah, if you want to possess the promised land, you need to be prepared. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Simple condition. If you want to enter into the promised land. If you want to possess that land, prepare yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Today, who is preparing us? The Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is keep on telling us, hey, this is the time you need to be prepared. Don't take it lightly. The Lord wants to convey some message to us. Hallelujah. Amen. But we need to listen. If you, if you, if you want to inherit, if you want, if you want to possess the promised land and the, the, the glorious canon which is waiting for us, then we need to listen and we need to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. Hmm. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out two hmm. men from Akasia grew to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of a harlot named Raga mm. and lodged there. Amen. Hallelujah. See, the Lord prepared Joshua before he inherited. During the time of inheritance, also, God is keep on preparing Joshua. Not only Joshua, but the Lord is preparing the land also for his people. Amen. When you are willing to inherit the promises of God, when you are willing to take the work of God, Joshua took this great task because God has asked him to do it. Amen. But he willingly, he agreed and he started to do the work of the Lord. When we are willing to do his work, when we are willing to take care of his task, he will prepare the land also for us. Amen. See, Joshua sent two people to spy the land. Amen. When Moses sent, Moses sent the spies, he sent 12 people. Amen. Out of 12, two gave a good report, 10 gave a Negative report. I mean, I don't know why. Because of that, maybe Joshua changed his mind. Okay, instead of sending 12 people, if there are more people, more problem. Okay. Amen. Sometimes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So better we can send two only two people. If the two people, okay, if the, these two people comes with the two different ideas, so 50-50. Right? Yeah. One person says, hey, Joshua, we can inherit. If the other person says, hey, Joshua, it's difficult. It will be easy for Joshua to handle the situation. One, one, 50, 50. Yes. Amen? Amen. So now Joshua can choose any decision, right? I'm thinking like that Bible did not say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See the wisdom of Joshua. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua saw when, when there was 12 people a lot of problem. Amen? Amen. So two is okay. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, uh, less people, it's also good. In the life of Gideon, the Lord, Lord asked him, 
to reduce the people. Hallelujah, it's too much. Send more people. It's still too much. Send them. Amen. If they have a fear, let them go. Right? First God told Gideon like that. If they have a fear, who has a fear, let them go. Then certain number of people left. Then God said, still it's too much. If they win this battle, then they will say, because they are more in numbers, they want the battle. So reduce. So it came to 300. Amen. But through that 300, the Lord gave a great victory to Gideon. Amen. Okay, here Joshua was sending two people. We can read verse uh, 9. Joshua chapter 2, verse 9. Mm. And said to the men, And said to the men, mm. I know that the Lord has given you the land. So they, they went to the land, they met Rahab. Now Rahab was telling this face. Mm. We can read from the beginning, verse 9. And said to the Rahab, man, Rahab said to the man, I, I know that the Lord has given you the land. I know that the Lord has given you the land. That the terror of you has fallen on us. Mm. And that all the inhabitants of the land are faint hearted because, faint -hearted because, because, of, because of you. you. Amen. Rahab was telling the two spies, I know that the Lord has given you the land. land. Still, they did not enter into the promised land. They were waiting the other side of River Jordan. Only their two spies came in. But Swedav said, I know the Lord has given you the land. Hallelujah. The, the Gentile woman, she was able to see what the Lord is doing in the chosen people's life. Amen. Amen. Before Joshua entered into the land, he heard the news through a Gentile woman that the Lord has given you the land. land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very difficult to believe it. But that was the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that lady said that the terror of you has fallen on us. She said, hey guys, you did not enter. But before you, you enter, into the, uh, enter into this land, the fear of you is upon us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before they enter, the fear of the Lord or fear of God's people fallen upon the land. How God prepares the land for his children to inherit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Who put that fear in the hearts of the people those lived in that promised land that time? God himself did it. She said, and that all the inhabitants of the land are faint-hearted because, because of you. Of you. Amen. Amen. The enemy will tremble when he sees the children of God. Amen. We don't need to fear of the enemy. We, need, we don't need to go through the fear of the enemy. The enemy has to tremble. Amen. The enemy has to faint-hearted because of us. Amen. Amen. Who will do this? The Lord will do this. Hey, my people are coming. Hallelujah. We can read the next verse also. It's, it will be very nice. Uh, For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. For, for we you. have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. For you. For you. When you came, when out, you of came out of Egypt. And, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were on the other side of the Jordan. Sihon and Og. Og. Whom you utterly destroyed. Amen. Red Sea was divided nearly 40 years before during the time of Moses. But now after the 40 years of wilderness experience right? Now only they are going to inherit. Approximately 40 years. But this lady was telling, hey, we heard how God divided the Red Sea. See, 40 years before something happened, that thing, that thing brought the fear in the enemy's hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means for the, from the day of, from the day when they came out of land of Egypt, that day itself, God prepared this land and prepared the people, those lived in the promised land, God put the fear, 
God heard and made them to hear the, the miracle which God did in the Red Sea. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But these people who came out of Egypt, they did not understand what God was preparing for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Many times we do not realize what really God is preparing for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That day itself, that day when they crossed the Red Sea itself, God put the fear in the hearts of the people in the promised land. Amen. 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 They scared of God of Jehovah. Amen. Because they heard the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. Amen. Amen. Because these people did not know what God has prepared, they started to murmur in the wilderness. They started to complain in the waters of Maribah. Everywhere, because they murmured, complained, unfaith, ungratitude, because of that, they need to walk around in the wilderness continuously for 40 years. If they know what's happening, the other side, maybe, maybe it will help us. Amen. Many times we fail what really God is preparing for us. Amen. We, we, we are so limited by the things, what's happening around us. Amen. When, when, they were, when they were in the Mara, they were able to see only the water, the bitter water. They couldn't see what's really happening the other side of Jordan. Amen. That day itself, God put the fear in their heart. That means, I, I imagine like this, maybe that people, from that day onwards, maybe they scared, hey, what time they will come? Any time these people of Israel can walk into our land. All these 40 years, they were, they were, they were, they lived with fear. Fear about the children of God. Man. But the sad thing is, children of God did not know what God was doing. For them. Today also we do not know what God is doing for us. That's why we, we that's why we are complaining, we are murmuring, we are we are speaking negative words, right? Today the Lord wants to encourage us. You are special in my sight. Amen. I am preparing something good for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wait, wait. You know. Uh, before I came to USA, right, in, when I was in India, sometimes I used to think, right, about my own life, okay, uh, I, I, I used to think like this, God is doing something for me, God is preparing something for me in my life, you know, still I will meet some more different people in my life. That time I was working in a school, I was working with like a 70 colleagues. But you know, always I used to think my life will not be ended here. My life will not be ended with the 70 people. The Lord will help me to meet many more new people. I, I, I do not know why, what, why that kind of thought was keep on coming to my mind. But still I'm thinking the Lord will help me to meet some other different people. I do not know why that thought is keep on coming, but I believe God is preparing something for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you recall your life also, 10 years before, you were somewhere else and your life was completely different with some, only with some people, but see how God expanded your boundaries, expanded your territories, how God is using you as a channel of blessing to many. Recall your life. Recall your own life. If you recall your own life, you know, hey, God has prepared all these things for me. All these things are prepared by God for me. Now I am enjoying. Now I am, now I am experiencing the blessings of God. I hope you will agree with me. Amen. 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 20 years before or 30 years before, we did not have any clue about what we are enjoying now. Amen. How all these things came? 
Because the Lord has spoken. Amen. Psalm 23, I think verse 6, that they, David said like that, the Lord will prepare a table before my enemies and anoint my head with oil. Amen. Hallelujah. You prepare a table before me. Hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. That time, David was able to see only the enemies. But he had a hope. Lord, I know you are preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. I know the enemies are there. But you will prepare a table for me. And you will anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. Do you believe the Lord is preparing something for you? Hallelujah. Amen. We need to give praises to God. We should not complain. We may not see it now. Amen. Hallelujah. When, when Joshua sent the spies, then only they came to know through Rahab what was really going on there for the past 40 years. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe, I strongly believe, still my God is preparing something for me. Hallelujah. I believe my God Jesus will anoint my head with his oil. My cup runs over and it will keep on runs over. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. <clears throat> Do not limit the power of God. He is doing something for you. Hallelujah. In the New Testament time, Jesus told the disciples, I will go and prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Not only in this earth. Hallelujah. In, in, in heaven, God is preparing some beautiful thing for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, the parents will prepare some nice food for the children. They will wait for the children to come from school or from, uh, from their work. They will wait for them. They will wait for them to come to this, come, come back to home safely. When they come back to home safely, first thing the parents will say, hey, I prepared something for you to come and eat it first. That is the art of every parent. The same way the Heavenly Father is preparing something for you and me. Only one thing He is expecting from you and me. We need to reach the home safely. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to reach that. That is our ultimate purpose. The things which we all have here, which what we go through, it's everything related to the eternity. Amen. Amen. Bible says we are not to call to enjoy, not we are not only called to enjoy the blessings of this world. Hallelujah! That's a nice verse. I think if if our if our trust is only for this worldly things, we are the very pathetic people. I, I will find out the verse, right? I think First Corinthians. If anyone can find that verse, please. Okay, you may call Matra Nam Devon Ritu Namiki Kondipoman or Namibra Paddika Kudya Nikra. If you if our hope is only for this worldly things, we are the so pathetic people. Yemen. Yeah, Hallelujah. Did anyone find it? First Corinthians or second Corinthians? Okay. Did you find it? Okay, so our, our hope, our faith is not only for this worldly things. Amen. God is preparing something in the heavenly things. Hallelujah. Amen. If you believe. Yes. Which was 1 Corinthians 15, 19. Okay. Uh, yes, first, thank you, Satish. First Corinthians 15, 19. 
if in this life only we have hope in christ we are all all men that most pitiable hallelujah <coughs> we need to have a, the eyes of eternity yes. our life should be based upon eternity god is preparing something beautiful for us hallelujah this people of the, the this children of israel they could not understand what really god is doing on the other side hallelujah yeah man as a heavenly father he is expecting us to enter into his kingdom amen and and enjoy this blessing say amen hallelujah okay uh, verse 11 uh, joshua chapter 2 we can come back to joshua chapter 2 verse 11 and as soon as we heard the sound of the Our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any. As soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Melted. Neither did there remain any more courage. Courage in anyone because of you, for the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> See, ring of us telling, hey, our hearts are melted because of you. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, There's no courage in any one of us because of you. Amen. Yeah, For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on the earth. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. She was able to recognize who is our God. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, because of us, her hearts are melted. Her heart and the people of those uh, Canaanites, their hearts melted. Amen. But the sad thing is, today our hearts are melted. Amen. 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 Even though we are called children of God, our hearts are melted. Amen. Amen. We are worshiping Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. The enemy's hearts needs to melt. Hey, I could not. Touch this people. Amen. The Almighty yeah. God is with them. Amen. Amen. Praying up to this place, our hearts are melted. Yes. We do not have any courage. Amen. That means we need to have all the courage. We need to have a strong heart to inherit our promised land. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to thank God for His presence with us. If God is with you. Who can be against you? Amen. Amen. One who is within us is the greater than the one who is in the world. Rehab was able to see that. Are we able to see this? How is our heart today? The chosen people has to have a strong heart because of his presence. Amen. Amen. That's the way Rehab was telling. Hey, you do not know, guys. You who is with you? Because of the Lord God. One who is with you, our hearts are melted. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Israel is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear not. Be strong. Amen. Amen. He is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of His presence, the enemy's hearts will be melted. These days, all we ask, Lord, fill us more, more of you, more of you, more of your presence, more of your presence. We want to experience your presence, Lord. Strengthen our heart, Lord. Remove every fear, Lord. Remove every panicness. Remove every doubts, O oh God. Hallelujah. We want to stand firm, Lord. We want to be strong. Hallelujah. All we ask is, all we need, we need to ask is your presence, Lord. Your presence. Amen. If the Lord is with us, the enemy will tremble. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to carry His presence. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to carry His fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We can read verse. So this lady, she was giving glory to God. Amen. She said, "There's no other God like Your God." Amen. 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 How many of you believe that we are worshiping a great God? Amen. Hallelujah. Heaven is His throne. Earth is His footstool. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We need to believe that we are worshiping a great God. Amen. 
Hallelujah. One word is enough. One touch is enough. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> that's a nice song, right? Uh, if God is for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is for you. We can read uh, chapter 2, verse 24. Joshua chapter 2, verse 24. And they said to Joshua, Truly <coughs> the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands, for indeed all the inhabitants of the hmm. country are faint-hearted because of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. They said, uh, they, said uh, they, they came back to Joshua. Uh, they said, Truly the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands. For indeed all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us. Hallelujah. They, brought, they both brought the good news. Thank God. Amen. It, it was not like Moses' time. Amen. If two people united in spirit, then we will take a good news. Amen. These two had a oneness. They said, the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands. Amen. Amen. They did not, that time they did not enter into the promised land yet. Still they were the other side of the Jordan. They did not cross the Jordan that time. But they both, the two spies, had a oneness to give the same news. Hallelujah. Today the Lord is expecting the oneness in our life. Bible says if two if two joins their heart and whatever they ask, whatever they release in this earth, it will be released in the heavenlies. Whatever they bound here, it will be bound. Whatever they bind here, it will be bounded in the heavenlies. Amen. Amen. God is looking for oneness in, in every family. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, man, God is looking for unity in every church. Hallelujah. Oneness is very, very important. Oneness is the greatest tool for every victory. Yeah, man. That's why the Bible says, if two or three gather in my name, I will be there in, my, in their midst. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Today, the Lord is looking for unity in our life. If, 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 you are, if we are married people, <clears throat> the husband and wife has to have a oneness to inherit the promised land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These two spies had a oneness to give a good news. Hallelujah. They said, the Lord has delivered the entire land to us. Amen. Hallelujah. We can read the verse um, Joshua chapter 3 verse 1. After they came back and they gave uh, the, the, the report of the land. Now this is the time of crossing Jordan. I, I quickly I will finish. Joshua. Then Joshua rose early in the morning hmm. and they set out from Acacia Grove hmm. and came to the Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they crossed over. Amen. Verse 7. Joshua chapter 3 and the Lord seven. said to Joshua, mm. This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so, so I, will I will be with you. With you. <clears throat> uh, amen. Mm. Hallelujah. The Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. The next day he has to cross. Amen. Hallelujah. The previous night may be a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, right? Yes. Hallelujah. Because the next day is a very important day. Amen. The word of the Lord came to Joshua. The Lord told, don't worry, Joshua. This day I will begin to exalt you. In the sight of all Israel. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. The Lord already told them within three days, you guys will cross this river Jordan. Amen. Yeah, Why the Lord has to come and speak to Joshua again? Three days before God told them, within three days you will cross. 
Yes? Amen. This is the love of God. Until you finish the things, he will keep on coming after you and he will speak to you. Hallelujah. That is the love of God. Amen. The Lord will intervene in our life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord knows how to encourage you. The Lord knows how to speak to you. Amen. God knew for Joshua the next day is a very important day. Amen. The Bible says later on the, that the chapter Bible says that time was a harvest time. So the Jordan used to how full of water. Maybe I think like this. Maybe when Joshua saw the water, the speed of the water, the force of the water, and the, the amount of water in that river, maybe, maybe Joshua had a little trouble. Lord, why you put me before this Jordan? Why you brought me to this Jordan? Maybe he had a question. The Lord told, this Jordan is going to help you to put the fear in the people's heart about you. This evil is going to turn as a good for you. I'm going to use this Jordan to exalt you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows how to encourage you. The Lord knows how to speak to you. Are you standing before the river Jordan? Are you going through a lot of stress? Are you going through a lot of fear? The Lord wants to tell you, people will know, as I was with Moses, I am with you. Hallelujah. This Jordan will help you. Amen. Verse 10. <clears throat> Joshua chapter 3, verse 10. And Joshua said, And Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, mm. and that he will without fail drive out mm. from before you the Canaanites and the Egyptites. And yes. the Hivites hmm. and the Perusites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Jebusites. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, actually, Indra is reading the verse. Uh, I do not know whether you can hear the voice of Indra, uh, but the verse is on the screen. So, whenever you are not able to hear the voice, you can read the verse also on the screen. Okay, here uh, Joshua was telling the people. The Lord is among you. Amen. The living God is among you. Amen. Hallelujah. He will drive away all the enemies. Amen. Verse 11. Hmm. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is hmm. crossing over before you into the Jordan. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord was among them. Then the Lord was going before, before them. them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, the Lord wants to give you this word as a prophetical word for every one of you. The Lord is among you. Amen. The Lord is in the midst of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear not. Yes. Hallelujah. The ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing over before Amen. you into the Jordan. How many of you believe that? Amen. We will cross over this Jordan. Amen. Whatever we are facing yes. now. Whatever the world is facing yes. as the Jordan, yes. we will cross over by the Amen. grace of God. Amen. Because the ark of the covenant of the Lord is going before us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, whatever the Lord has promised, the Lord has uh, exalted uh, Joshua. Joshua chapter 4, verse 14. Joshua chapter 4, verse 14 says, after they crossed the river Jordan. Hmm. On that day, the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel hmm. and they feared him and they had feared Moses all the days of his life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever the Lord told Joshua, he did it. Hallelujah. Amen. During the time of inheritance, the Lord will full, we will see the fulfillment of all his promises. Amen. God has chosen you as an inheritor. So you will see the fulfillment of the promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. They crossed the first challenge river Jordan. Amen. Amen. Now, another challenge. It's on the way. It's the, uh, the, the, the city of Jericho. Hallelujah. But before 
they entered Jericho. Again, God has prepared Joshua. Amen. We can read Joshua chapter 5, verse 13, 14, 15. Hmm. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho hmm. that he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? Amen. So, and after the great victory, Joshua was, was in the plain, plains of uh, uh, River Jordan. Amen. Hallelujah. But there was a man standing with a sword in his hand. Hallelujah. Amen. See the visitation of God. If you read up to verse 15, it's a visitation of God again to Joshua in a different way. Amen. God never appeared to Joshua like this before. Amen. He experienced the presence of God in a different way. He heard the voice of God in a different way. Amen. But this time, it's completely different. Joshua never experienced the visitation of God like this. That's why when Joshua saw this man, he thought he was some warrior. That's why he approached that person and asked, are you for us or for our adversaries? Are you belong to us or are you belong to our enemies? We can read the next verse. Hmm. So he said, so no, he said, no, no, but as commander of the army of the Lord, hmm. I have now come. Amen. See, the different way God is visiting Joshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to have the expectation of visitation of God. God can visit us through any way. There was no, no standard format in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you take any anything, visitation of God, provision of God, leading of God, guidance of God, Amen. The way God speaks to us, it's always in different format. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe for last year God uh, intervened in your life in a different way. Amen. Do not expect the same this year. This year God wants to follow a new way in your life. Many times, you know, we used to ask like this, Lord, why it was not like before? Before I used to experience your presence, but nowadays I'm not able to experience your presence. That means God is ex God wants you to expect in a different way. God is always there to give you his presence. All we need to do, we need to change our mind. Somehow I want to experience your presence, Lord. I don't want to give you the guidance. Do like this, do like that, do like that. No, I want to see your presence. I want to see your mighty hand. But if anyway, it's fine. Amen. 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 If you want to talk to me through a man who, who is having a sword, it's fine. If you want to talk to me through some 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 other way, it's fine. Amen. All we need to have is the expectation of visitation of God. Amen. I need your visitation. Amen. I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says. That man told, I am the, the uh, commander, commander of, the army of all army of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, the Bible says, chapter 6, verse 1. God, see, God prepared Joshua before he entered into Jericho. Verse 15, Bible says that, Joshua chapter 5, verse 15. The Lord asked Joshua to remove his sandals. Amen. Hallelujah. See. The chosen people will be prepared all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. I told you already, before they inherit, God already prepared Joshua. But during the time of inheritance also, God is keep on preparing him, keep on training him. This is what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you read ja ja Joshua chapter 6, verse uh, Four and five. Bible says Joshua chapter six verse one. 
Jericho was Securely, uh, securely shut, shut up. up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Uh. And seven priests shall bear seven mm. trumpets of rams mm. before the ark. Mm. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times mm. and the priest shall blow the trumpet. Okay. If you see the, the first incidents of the crossing the Jordan, God used priest. In this Jericho incident also, God used priest. Amen. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, God has called us as a priest. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, you are a chosen generation, royal priesthood. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the priest, the Jordan was divided. The priest has to step in first. Then the Jordan divided. Now for Jericho also, the priest has to carry the Ark of the Covenant and going around the walls of Jer uh, Jericho. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, the Lord wants to tell you, you are the priesthood. You are the royal priesthood. Amen. Through you only the Jordan can divide. Through you only the walls of Jericho will come down. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you are a Joshua. You are a priesthood. Hallelujah. Yeah, man. You, you, you cannot say, hey, maybe through someone else, maybe through some other evangelist, maybe through some other pastor, through some other uh, great servant of God. No, you, you are the royal priesthood. That's why the Bible says you are a chosen generation, royal priesthood, a holy nation. Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. His own special people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means. I need to be prepared. Amen. I need to go around the Jericho wall. I need to carry the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you read chapter 6, verse 8. Hmm. So it was when Joshua had spoken to the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of rams, horns before the Lord, advanced and blew the trumpets, and the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord followed them. Amen. Amen. See, when the Jericho incident, Ark of the Covenant of the Lord went before them. Amen. Amen. Do you remember? Maybe we can read that verse and we can finish. The, here, the Bible says the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord followed them. Amen. But in the previous in, uh, in Joshua chapter 3, verse 6, Joshua chapter 3, verse 6. <clears throat> Joshua chapter then 3. Then Joshua spoke to the priest saying, hmm. take up the Ark of the Covenant hmm. and cross over before the people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ark of the Covenant went before, before the, the people. people. Now the Ark of the Covenant has to follow, follow the people. Follow it, the it will go at the last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will keep on changing the 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 strategy for his people. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Jericho strategy cannot help. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the Jordan strategy cannot help for Jericho, Jericho strategy. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why that uh, the the captain of the army of the Lord was there Amen. to tell him what he need to do. If you read the next chapter, Joshua did a mistake there. Later on, Joshua did something. Uh, Joshua missing something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time we need to ask the strategy of God. Amen. Lord, what do you want to do for this Jericho? Amen. What do you want me to do for this river Jordan? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every, every time it's a different strategy. Hallelujah. Today, the Lord wants to encourage us to listen to him. Amen. To know his strategy. Amen. What do you want me to do for this time, Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether I need to go around or whether I need to move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you.